The new web connector is in Excel and this greatly improves our experience in extracting data from web pages. Let's look at two examples. So in this first example, I have this web page from the imdb.com website. And as we can see, we have the top 250 movies and visually this data would be a nightmare for Excel. You can see it looks like a table, but within each cell, we have the film title, year of release and rating and more on different lines of the same cell. So it appears tabular, albeit a nightmare. Now let's see what Excel sees when we ask it to connect to this web page. So I took a copy of the URL and I'm in a blank Excel workbook here to connect to that page. So I'll click data from web and I'm going to paste in the URL. When I click OK, we are taken to a navigator window. Now notice in this window that it's offering different structures to get from that web page and we have suggested tables. Note that they are not HTML tables, they are merely suggestions. So although it looked like a table on the page, it actually wasn't one. Now this is the old experience. Just a few weeks ago, if I tried to connect to this web page in the same manner, I would get this navigator window, which is absolutely useless. But now with these suggestions, if I click on table one, I get this preview and sure, it's not great. There's a little bit of work here in terms of transformations to remove columns I don't want and to extract or split columns that has data that I require, such as the combined column one with rank and film, but it's there. So I can select table one click on transform data at the bottom. This is loaded into the Power Query editor and now I can continue to perform those transformations and load this data into Excel. Now I'm going to speed through those transformations to put a full stop on this example. But going into detail of Power Query is not the primary purpose of this video. If you want to learn more about these transformations, then we can check out my Advanced Excel Success Book or various other videos at this channel. And with the transformations done, I'm going to load this into Excel. So home, let's close and load to, and for this example, I'll just load it as a table to the existing worksheet. So that's brilliant. And this new web connector in Excel was able to identify a tabular structure, even though it wasn't really a table, and offer it as a suggestion, making the process pretty straightforward. But let's look at an example now where we are not offered those suggestions. Okay, so this time I am on the Social Blade website and I'm on a page that is showing the top 100 YouTubers by the metric of most subscribed, I believe. And we can see in the heart of the page, among the adverts and different navigational links, that we have, again, what appears as a table. Looks very much like a table this time with headers such as rank, grade, username and number of uploads. And we want to get this data into the Excel file. Let's go. 
So I've taken a copy of the URL. Let's go back to data, get data. Oops, sorry, from web. Well, I can get that from other sources here. I'll paste in the URL and click OK. And this time, this is what we get. Now, there is a suggested table and that may fill us with some excitement. But if I click on table one, it's not what we want. The table that we saw on the page does not seem to be available. But another thing that comes with this new web connector is the ability to add table using examples. So if I give that a click, this will split that window in half. And in the bottom half, if I just scroll the top half a little first, gives me a grid where I can start to type examples of what I want to extract and they will write what is necessary to get it done. Now I'm not going to worry about putting column headers in because I can do that when I'm in the Power Query editor quite comfortably. Here I want to focus on the data. So in that first cell, I'm going to extract the grade first. So that will be A+. Plus. I'm not going to worry about the ranking. So that's A+. Plus. Using my right arrow, next up is Mr. Beast. That is the username. And let's put that in. Over we go again. Let me bring in the number of uploads, 798. And I'll bring in the number of subs, 273M. And I think that will do for now because I'm not looking forward to typing in the number of video views. What I'll do is I'll click in the next row below and I'll start to feed it more examples. So now it's A++. And as soon as I move off that column, you can see it is picking up the other data. I can see I have a blank in the next row and I'm not really knowledgeable enough on this website to know why that is. Uh, but then we have the A plus for that next channel. And then we have another A plus and so on. Carrying on with the data for the other columns. Next up is the T series. Over we go. Then what have we got for uploads? 21108. Next over, 267M. And look at this. For each of these columns, it is successfully understanding what we're after. This is brilliant. So I'm going to click on OK to confirm that I'm happy with what they're doing. And what that will do is add a new custom table into this navigation window. So if I click on table two, there it is. There is the data that we asked for by giving it examples. How cool is that? Now I'm going to click on transform data to take me into the editor. And from here, I can now start to perform further transformations that I may want to do, such as the column headers. But you might be thinking at the moment, Alan, they were the top 100 YouTube subscribers and you've only taken 10. And you would be right. And I'm not really sure why that is. There must be something in the example that didn't allow it to go beyond 10. But what we can do is go back and edit this. So over on the query settings pane and in the applied steps, if I click on the gear icon for the extracted table from HTML, this reopens that add table using examples window. So I wanted to demonstrate that we can come back here to make edits at a later point. This is brilliant. So I'm going to scroll down here to beyond the number 10 mark and let's scroll down in my bottom half. And for row 11 here, I'll put in number 11s, which is grade A. And then let's add in this new row. This, these appear to be called Z Music Company. Next up, we have 11209. And then we have 107M. 
And here we go. Once again, we can see the preview of our data and one would assume that this goes up to the next 100. We could scroll if we wanted to explore further and indeed it does. If I click OK, and now we have the top 100 YouTubers judged by subscriptions from that website. I can rename the headers. And then I could insert an index column to start from one. And I could move that to the beginning to act as the ranking that I did not bring in from the page. I've now named the query and we can now load this into Excel. I'll put this one on a new worksheet and we are done. So what do you think? A couple of examples there of the suggested tables and then the add table using examples. Two key improvements of the web connector that we can use in Excel to grab data from web pages. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe so that you are kept up to date with the latest videos at this channel. Take care, everybody. I'll see you again soon.